Nearly two months since the murder of an inmate Cesar Dizon at the Department of Corrections and the circumstances surrounding his death is unsolved. We had an opportunity to speak with the family and explain uh, what transpired and, uh, you know, gave our condolences and that uh, we are investigating and uh, we will ensure that we do all our best to, uh, to bring the justice to the uh, inmate uh, and his family. Director Bob Camacho revealing their days away from completing the internal investigation. Yet questions still remain as to why he was allegedly killed by his fellow inmate, M.B. Cotto. Any motive revealed yet? No. Uh, uh, as I said, I would like to, I can't even comment on that. I don't even, I'm not uh, aware of that situation. As KUAM News reported, Cotto allegedly stabbed the victim at least 10 times. Dizon was later found by a corrections officer lying on the floor after being stabbed repeatedly. Two knives believed to be the murder weapons were confiscated, along with a butter knife that had serrated edges found inside Cotto's locker. The attack occurring while one of Camacho's officers were on duty and assigned to keep watch. There was an officer uh, yeah. at, in, in, uh, at the unit area. and. Uh, I want to kind of explain also that, you know, this is a minimum security. And of course, in this classification, it's periodic checks. Uh, you know, it's not uh, one on one. It's a, a, a higher level uh, of uh, uh, freedom for, for those individuals. Cotto was serving time for a 2017 aggravated assault conviction at the time of the stabbing. Dizon was serving life for the 1995 shooting of his ex-wife's divorce lawyer. Since his death, the prison has adopted new safety measures. We're doing more inspections of the area. We, we're secu we secured the, the tools with more inventory uh, protocols. And looking at all the different things where, like in the kitchen area, where uh, all those uh, possible items that might be used as a dangerous weapon are secure in, in the control center. Uh, we're doing more searches, uh, drug testing, um, <clears throat> and also we are doing an evaluation for every single individual that goes into the minimum security. Though Camacho could not confirm much more until the investigation is complete, KUAM has learned Cotto reeked of alcohol following the stabbing. Cotto has since pleaded not guilty to the murder charges and will appear again in local court on October 21st.